Hello, welcome back to my studio. Do you want to know more about mediums and how to use them with your oil painting? Well, if so, then this is the video for you. One of the questions I get asked most often is what medium to use with my oil painting? And my answer is always, well, use as little as possible. But of course, that doesn't really solve all the questions. And it's not surprising because when you go to the art supply store, there are so many mediums available these days. So what exactly is a medium? Well, basically it's any type of additive that you put with your oil paint to make it perform in a certain way. An oil painting medium is used for two reasons and that is to improve the consistency of the paint so that it flows better and it's easier to work with. And then the other typical usage is to either slow down the drying process or speed it up. Now a drying medium is some type of alkyde. The purpose of that is to speed up drying time of oil paint. Why would you use that? Well, typically it would be if you're in a hurry. Um, and sometimes I've used dry, drying medium when I've got a commission and I'm working to a certain deadline and I'm trying to paint layers of paint. So I'd use a drying medium. But before we get into the different kinds of mediums in a lot more detail. I want to touch on one of those rules that you've probably heard of and it is to the effect of always paint fat over lean. What is that exactly getting at? The idea there is fat paint has more oil in it, uh, more fattiness in other words, and lean paint has less oiliness um, and has a quicker drying time. So painting fat over lean simply means that your first layers of your paint must be lean, that is fast drying because it has less oil in it and then you go over it with subsequent layers of more uh, oily paint. The idea of course is to not have slow drying paint underneath and fast drying paint on top. If you do that, your paint's going to end up cracking because the painting is going to dry from the bottom to the top and uh, oxidize in that direction. And if it's a dry surface at the top, there's obviously going to be a problem and cracking is going to result. I will always remember a lesson told to me by a professional artist many years ago when I asked him that question, what mediums are you using with your painting? And he said, I don't use any mediums at all. He said, the modern paints are generally good enough to work straight out the tube. The problem with adding mediums is that you're going to affect the vibrancy of the paint. And that lesson always stuck with me and it is the basis of how I paint today. I hardly use any mediums at all. The truth is that a medium is not going to improve your painting through any sort of magical means. So simply just adding medium is not going to solve any painting problem that you may have. There are a few reasons why you may use a medium now and then. So what do I use? Well, I use a bit of Artist White Spirits, which I consider to be a medium in itself, because I use this just to loosen up the paint a little when I'm doing a very loose blocking, or I'm toning my uh, painting surface with some oil paint. Okay, so I've got some Artist White Spirits over here, and I've got some linseed oil and uh, this is purified linseed oil. So, as I mentioned, when I'm starting my painting, I'm going to 
use a little bit of uh, artist white spirit. So just pour a little of that in there. And I then use that to help me block in the painting. So I'll put a little bit of ultramarine blue and I just want to show you that the ultramarine blue coming out of the tube is already nice and workable. Okay, you can see there I can pick up paint very easily and spray that on my panel. So there's no real need to put in a, a medium already for this paint. And this is really a good student quality paint. And some of the professional artist quality paints are even easier to work. But maybe I want to just get a very washy type of surface uh, going or just getting a sort of loose wash uh, composition. A little bit of that white spirits just with the tip or the side of the corner of the, the brush. Put that in and you can see how loose that makes it. Right, it's very, very loose and you can block in very quickly, make the paint go a long way. So this would be a lean mix of paint. And being such a lean mix, you can do things like come in with some tissue and just wipe out if you want to reserve a few light areas. It's easy to do. Now I can mention something else while I've got the tissue paper or you can use some lint-free cloth. If you've used too much of the white spirits and you're getting almost a runny sort of uh, consistency like that, that's really no good. You can't paint over that. Get some tissue, just dab it up. You can see it almost disappears. Rather get the consistency correct, put in more paint, dry off your brush. If you've got a lot of spirits in there, you want to get rid of that. And then go in with a better consistency. Now you can come in with layers over that much easier and Let's put a bit of yellow ochre over there just to show you. Look at that yellow ochre as well. Perfect straight out the tube. You can pick some up and you can go over and it will adhere and you can proceed with your painting various layers like that. Once that is done, I'm pretty much not touching any mediums at all. The paint is good to go straight out the tube, or it should be. Um, there are a few student paints that come out a bit pasty because there's so many fillers etc included and it may be a bit hard to work that. But I just want to throw something in there as well is that, that oil paint is much easier to work if you're using a bristle brush, right? So genuine hog bristle brush um, is the answer. If you're going to be using a soft bristle, like a sable for instance, and you're doing a very um, refined portrait in a sort of old master style uh, with transparent glazing etc, then you'll be using a sable brush and you'll be adding in mediums to get that very uh, soft and workable paint. But if you're painting in a painterly sort of impressionist kind of style, as I prefer, then a bristle brush is going to make working the paint a lot easier. You'll be able to pick up the paint. You want to have your soft bristles of a sable brush bending out of shape and leaving all the paint still on your palette. So a bristle brush 
scoops up good thick paint and lays it down as well. So that's good to remember bristle brushes for that impressionist style. If the paint is a bit pasty and uh, maybe it's old and you have to use it, well then you may have to add something to it. So typically you'd be looking at linseed oil. You can add a few drops of linseed oil and improve the workability but if it's still not right I wouldn't suggest putting a lot of linseed oil with the paint. The reason being that it's going to make the paint so fatty that it may dry in a wrinkled fashion on your painting and you don't want that obviously. So then what I do is I will mix a bit of white spirits and linseed oil and this makes a very nice average or typical medium that you can use in almost any situation. So what ratio you can work quite easily on a 50-50 ratio. 50% 50 linseed oil, 50% white spirits. Mix those two together and you'll get a very nice medium. Now let's have a look at that uh, homemade general artist medium using a bit of linseed oil. You can use this as required or you can pour it into a jar and you're looking for more or less a 50-50 quantity. And just mix that up. You can put that in a little cup or saucer, cap like this. And just add some to your paint and we're getting a looser paint like that. So very handy little mixture and you don't need a lot of it you can just lightly wet your brush or even just take a few drops with a palette knife and just drop it on your paint. Turpentine or refined turpentine, distilled turpentine. I don't recommend adding turpentine to your oil paint. The reason being is that it really does break down your paint structure. You can end up with a very dry, drab uh, looking painting, the colors washed out. It doesn't do any favors to your oil paint. Even white spirits is quite strong and use it very sparingly. The other big reason to use a medium would be in glazing and that is to make transparent oil paint very easy to work with and to paint it on in very thin layers. You could buy glazing medium already made up at your art store. There's plenty of brands to choose from. Go for the good reputable brands. You can try making a glazing medium as well if you're into experimenting a bit. For a glazing medium you can try um, stand oil. Stand oil is a thick purified linseed oil and it's quite difficult to pour out the bottle so I'll show you that as well. Mix a little bit of uh, one part stand oil and you can mix another part of uh, Damar varnish which is a very a very bright and uh, strong varnish and uh, maybe four to five parts white spirits and and you'll get a, a pretty good glazing medium out of that all right let's have a look at the glazing that you could do in a painting so I'm going to just put a little bit of Indian yellow down here, which is quite a nice color for glazing. Got a clean brush now. To do a glaze, you need your painting to be completely dry. That's very important, of course. So if I want to, let's say, add some warmth to some of these bushes over here or in the road, I can glaze over it. Um, and that means uh, the layer must be transparent as well. So I'm going to use a little bit of Damar varnish. I 
little bit of stand linseed oil, which is very thick linseed oil. You can see how thick that is. Uh, just test that consistency. Quite thick, even with that Damar varnish. So I'm going to add a little bit of white spirit. Not too much, because it's quite... quite diluted already. Could actually add a little bit more if I wanted it very runny consistency. Skip that bit. Okay, so if you're making a large amount of glaze, you'll need a lot more than this, but I'm using a small amount and adding it or adding some of this Indian yellow to the glaze on my brush and I can just glaze over these darks over here and it gets a warm, warmer tone maybe more visible if I put this over the lighter parts here So wherever I want that warmer color temperature and I can build up the glaze in this manner. Okay, very light glaze maybe in the distance, just a little bit of warmth there. some over there as well. Okay, the glazing will can alter the color temperature of your painting and also add a much richer looking surface. Compare this to over there. Okay, before I can put any different colors over this, I'll have to let this layer dry completely as well. Now remember I spoke about that turpentine, mineral turps, I only use mineral turpentine to wash my brushes, no other reason than that. So that is more or less um, what I think may be useful to know as far as mediums are concerned. Well, I hope that has helped to clarify the mysterious world of oil painting mediums. If you found this video useful and it's helped you a bit, please give it a like and a share. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and you'll find out uh, when I put in the next video up on my channel. And finally, if you're looking to learn a bit more about painting, maybe you want to take up a painting lesson, I've got a free painting lesson that is available to you. You can start right away and you'll find the link above here and uh, or visit my website and check out the painting courses there as well. Great, so until next time, cheers for now.